Hi there! My name is Angie. I will be your host for this week's Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. Today, we are covering WebKit, Compose Compiler, Photo Picker, Emoji Picker, Play Console Update, and more. Since the previous episode, there have been some Android X releases worth highlighting. Let's start with WebKit. The double release of WebKit 1.6.0 and WebKit 1.7.0 Alpha 1 enables for more fine-grained control for developers and interactive features for users. In the WebKit 1.6.0, a new process global config API has been added to give you more control over every web view in your app, with additionally, new APIs in Cookie Manager Compat and Web Settings Compat as well. In WebKit version 1.7.0 Alpha 1, we are adding support for image track in web view. Going to Jetpack Compose Library, Compose Compiler 1.4.0 is now stable. This release brings support to Kotlin 1.8.0 and turns off Intrinsic Remember, among other improvements. With the update in Activity 1.7.0 Alpha 4, the Photo Picker contracts have been upgraded to also support a Google Play of services, the referred Photo Picker. We are introducing an Emoji Picker with the release of the Emoji Picker 1.0.0 Alpha 1 which provides a consistent user experience with the latest emoji across Android OS OEM devices and apps. It provides the latest emoji support and emoji picker UI, including skin tone variants and emoji compat support. Okay, let's move on to the new articles we publish. Google Play wrote out a new section in the Google Play console, which allows you to have more control and flexibility over the Play Store review process. Takashi Hagikura wrote about how to use Class with issue reports directly in Android Studio with the new app quality insights. This feature is available from Android Studio Electric Eel, which went stable recently. Alex Fanyo wrote about why using exact measurement in custom layout tests may result in flaky tests, depending on test devices. Not only that, he also wrote his recommendation on what you can do to avoid this issue. Yuichi Araki wrote about how to create backward compatible edge to edge experiences for your apps. This article covers consideration from API 19 and provides implementation that should work for most apps. Lastly, a new ADB podcast episode was published. In episode 194, Subtext, Shamit Sunir and Sean McKeven from the Android Text team joins Chad, Thor, and Romain to talk about text, including everything from fundamental of text stack on Android to the capabilities and implementation of text in Jetpack Compose to internationalization to fonts, emojis, and performance. And that's it for this time. You can find all the links to the content I mentioned in the Now in Android episode 76 blog post in Medium. To get notified about future episodes, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Android Developers YouTube channel. Bye-bye!